afternoon. Welcome back to the Iconics Imaging Digital Trade Show. Uh, we Last week, I showed you how to sand carve some stainless steel grill utensils for Father's Day. And today, I wanted to show you another substrate that you could do for a personalized gift. So we're, today, we're going to sand carve wood. And wood can be kind of tricky for some people. Um, so I'm going to show you some extra techniques with that. And um, so I've got my film already and my artwork that I used. So I used AccuBlack to print off my artwork. Um, some people might run into this problem. So I made a little mistake and I got a little piece of water droplets on my artwork and that can kind of interfere when you're uh, developing your film and you can get little pinholes which will actually wash out. As you can see there, I got a little hole there. Um, but what I did is it's an easy fix. Uh, you can just kind of cut off the part that, that got damaged and it'll still expose just fine. So um, with that, I used my artwork with Ultra Pro Blue, uh, which is kind of one of our older films, but the really nice thing about it is that it's a self-adhesive film. It's uh, really tacky. So I wanted to use that with wood because it is kind of hard to adhere to some wood. So um, Ultra Pro, I exposed this in a 26 1K. And um, as far as the exposure times with Ultra Pro Blue, I used 4 mil photo resist. Uh, so in a um, 5K, it is 10 seconds for exposure time. 26 1K would be 20 seconds and then 30 seconds in electrolyte exposure unit, which a lot of you have. So it exposes really quick and it washes out really quick. Uh, so if you're using a, a trigger jet nozzle, something like this with a hose, uh, it's gonna wash out in roughly two to three minutes. So I, I would say two and a half just to, just to keep it nice and even there. Uh, so next we're going to go to the application process. So let's take it over there. So the cutting boards that I'm using uh, are these Epicurean cutting boards. Uh, these are super cool. Um, so you can, these are actually made here right in our hometown in Duluth, Minnesota. So I ordered up a couple of these. They come in all different kinds of varieties shapes and sizes. So uh, I got this really cool bear and then I got this uh, really cool pig here. So I thought this would kind of go well with my, my whole theme that I'm doing um, with the Mark's Grill and uh, hopefully, you know, it can be used for um, kind of a, a grill cutting board to put your utensils on or, or meat that you've just fried up. So um, here's my artwork that I've got ready to go. And uh, what I did to prep my surface is I used some application adhesive, this blastable application adhesive. Um, that way I know that I'm not going to have any problems with a mask blow off due to the porous surface. So um, a trick with blastable adhesive though is apply it evenly and then make sure you let it dry because that's the most important part. If it's not dry you can still have a blow off.
So I am going to do the back side of the cutting board too, uh, so that you can have, um, you know, a nice design on one side and then a little phrase or some words on the other side. So uh, what I'm doing here also, um, I have my photo resist on release paper right now because I washed this film out this morning and I wanted to use it later in the afternoon. Uh, so it keeps from any dust collecting on this side and uh, then it'll make sure that it also has better adhesion this way too. So, so I am going to apply a little bit of blastable adhesive to the cutting board on the side too. Um, you can either put this directly on your mask or put it on your substrate. Uh, I prefer to put it on the substrate uh, so I can kind of see better exactly how much I'm doing. You'd, you don't need a lot and you just need it in the area that your mask is going to go um, because if, if you put too much on it's going to take a lot longer to dry and and that's not good for production so just a little bit and then we will let it sit and dry before we apply our mask okay so now we have our cutting board all masked up and prepped and so we're gonna pop it into the blaster now. I'm gonna be working with 150 mesh silicone carbide today for our grit. And uh, we're gonna start out at 25 to 30 PSI and probably move our way up a little bit more towards 40. So we'll see how this goes. So here's the final results of how the cutting board turned out and it turned out really great. I'm, I'm pretty thrilled with, with the outcome here. Um, one thing that I did is after I was done blasting, you know, there was still quite a bit of adhesive and, and, you know, the mask was really stuck on there. So, so I soaked the whole thing in water, uh, for maybe 20 minutes and then, um, it, it all just peeled right off. So, uh, that's a really easy way to remove a mask um, off of any substrate that that kind of gets additionally stuck more. So yeah, this will be a great item to give away for uh, Father's Day, and um, 
there's lots of different artwork out there that that you can find that would be easy to use. So thanks for joining us this week at the Iconics Imaging Digital Trade Show. If you have any questions or need help with a project that you want to start soon, uh, call us at 1-800-643-1037 or shoot us a message. say